All right, so uh, hoping to learn how to control crop damage by a certain species of beetle, a researcher plans to test two different pesticides in small plots of corn. A few days after application of the chemicals, we'll check the number of beetle larvae found in each plant. The researcher wants to know if either pesticide works and whether there's a significant difference in the effectiveness between them. So we got to assign an experiment. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we've got our crop plants and one third of them are going to get pesticide A and then a third are going to get pesticide B and then a third, not a half, a third, and then a third are going to get no pesticide. That's our control group. And then we're going to simply count the number of beetle larvae. Okay, larvae like that, I think it is. So, we're going to randomly assign here. Okay, so these are experimental units. Uh, those are experimental units. How are we going to randomly assign them? So we'll give each each crop plant a number. Let's say there's uh, I don't know there's 600 of them. So we would randomly select the first 200 to get pesticide A, the next 200 to get pesticide B, and then the last 200 would get no pesticide. Okay. So what do we got here? We got one factor, pesticide. We got three levels, A, B, or none. And there are three treatments. And then how would we evaluate? We count the average number of beetle larvae around each plant and we would compare the results based on which application each plant got.